Tired of pests chewing through your garden? What if I told you, right now, a hidden army of beneficial insects is defending your plants? Here's a powerful fact. Over 97% of the roughly 1.5 million known insect species are benign, or better, beneficial to your garden. So those pesky bugs, they're actually the exception, not the rule. Every inch of your garden is puzzling with life. Predators eating the bad guys, pollinators boosting your harvest, recyclers keeping the soil rich. Meet your nature-based pest control team, ladybugs that consume up to 5,000 aphids in a single lifetime, lacewings, parasitic wasps, even dragonflies. And pollinators? Bees, hoverflies, butterflies, even wasps pollinate over 75% of our flowering plants, ensuring food and fruit. So how do we attract them? One, plant diversity, herbs, annuals, perennials. Two, native species designed for your local insects. Three, shelter, logs, leaf litter, insect hotels. Four, water, shallow dishes with stones. Five, skip broad spectrum pesticides. Six, companion plants, marigolds with tomatoes, etc. Seven, soil care, rotate, mulch, compost. Let's dive in. Ladybugs, larvae gulp aphids like little alligators, devouring hundreds per week. Adults take down thousands across their lifespan. But beware of purchased ladybugs. Only about 5% stay in your garden after release. Better strategy? Grow nectar and pollen plants to keep them home. Monitor your garden weekly. Spot both friends and foes. Track what's working, adjust what's not. And you'll see pest outbreaks naturally drop over time. And don't do it alone. Bring your neighbors into the community. Start pollinator corridors. Host native plant events. Change your local landscape together. Look at this revelation. Chemical-only gardens may look clean, but they're vulnerable. In contrast, insect-friendly gardens are resilient, thriving, and self-sustaining. Try these planting combos. Dill, marigold, mint for ladybugs and hoverflies, yarrow, sunflower, lavender for wasps and bees, cilantro, fennel, cosmos for lacewings and native bees. Insect populations are declining. Some studies show up to 45% drop in the last 40 years. That means our gardens can be conservation hotspots. So remember, beneath your feet and buzzing in your blooms lies the solution. Support these tiny allies and they'll give back with healthier plants, richer harvests, and real eco-balance. If this inspired you, like, subscribe, and share. Let's grow awareness one garden at a time.